Yeah. Brett Lindsay knows he made history. I mean, I was excited about the new procedure because it was, I guess, more or less non-invasive. The recovery time was a lot quicker. Um, did not have to remove the prostate. The University of Southern California Institute of Urology is the first academic medical center in the United States to conduct a robotic, high-intensity focused ultrasound known as HIFU. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration recently approved the procedure, even though it's been used in other countries to treat prostate cancer for about 10 years. Traditional prostate cancer treatments include either removing the entire gland or radiation, which will affect the quality of life for patients even if the cancer is removed. With HIFU, only the cancer is identified, targeted, and destroyed. No compromise or minimal, com minimal compromise in continence and potency, thereby not impacting the person's quality of life. The HIFU procedure is non-invasive and the patient can go home on the same day. It is precision medicine, says Robert Barnett, with one of the manufacturers of the technology Sonicare Medical. And here we're taking ultrasound energy off of a what's called concave or a bowl-like surface and bringing that to a focal point and at that point we have tremendous heat generated and we can destroy tissue. HIFU devices are used in Western Europe, Latin America and some Asian countries but not so much in developing countries. I think in third world if you will or developing countries it's, it's a financial thing. Uh, those countries certainly don't have the resources to commit to uh, health care their focus is more on uh, preventing infectious disease. But Barnett says when looking at the global cost of treating prostate cancer, HIFU technology is less costly than radiation and it can easily be implemented in an unsophisticated medical setting. Doctors say having this procedure at an academic medical center allows them to further research the outcomes of HIFU procedures, minimize any side effects, and advance the technology. Uh, to figure out what molecular and genetic markers predict HIFU success, HIFU failure. Uh, which patients are the best candidates for it? How do we not over-treat cancer? And at the same time, how do we not under-treat cancer? For Brett Lindsay, he'll relax at home for a few days before going on a business trip in less than a week. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles. Yeah, I was talking with your wife. Yeah. Oh, <laughs>